A trailblazer is one that blazes a trail to lead and include others. The first person to do something or go somewhere who shows that it is also possible for other people. Trailblazing is bold, it's brave, and it can be very scary. It's worth it for each one of us who have fought so hard for this day, and it's worth it for the generations of girls and women who will come behind us. This is an incredible moment, and the best part, we are just getting started. With the first overall pick in the inaugural Professional Women's Hockey League Draft, Minnesota Select. It's the night before the draft and I'm just feeling so excited. Tomorrow is gonna to be a huge historic moment for women's ice hockey. This league is something I never could have even imagined as a little girl. What's the schedule for the uh, draft? Um, I think we're just supposed to get there anytime between noon and one for the purple carpet. So exciting day tomorrow. I started in boys hockey. I was always the only girl on my team. I actually played like one year of contact with the guys before I switched to girls. And then ever since then, I was with the girls. Do you have your outfit ready for tomorrow? Uh, I think I've got a few things put together. <laughs> I'll see if it works. <laughs> After that, I went on to Ohio State University. I was there for five years. I did my undergrad and master's in civil engineering, and I just uh, wrapped up graduating in August from there. This is Sophie, everyone. Oh, Hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. I won one national championship and the Patty Kazmaier Award. After that, it was kind of the end of hockey, and just to know that you can continue is like incredible, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds. You know, it's not something that we thought about when she first started to play hockey. Having an opportunity to be a part of this is, uh, we're really looking forward to be a fan and, uh, and watching sort of women's hockey at this level for, for a while. How are you? Just say yours. Perfect. We don't even know where we're going, yeah, so. Yeah, right in here, right in here. Yeah. Just gonna be a slip on this, please. That's a little bit. Yeah. For me, my earliest memories, I remember, it's funny, I'm not too much of a girly girl, so I had pink laces, and I'll never forget them when we still have the skates. My mom put pink laces and I had a bob. So the way that I look in photos is, I would have looked at myself now and been like, she's terrible. For me, I sat down last week and just really wanted to make like a mental note that like this week's really important. Not just hockey-wise for me, it's just to take in like all the hard work that I've done has led to this and to just make sure that I really take advantage of the time that I'm here, because it's going to be gone in a second. Like, I'm going to leave tomorrow, and it's going to be done. Yeah, we were here for the World Championships this year. Oh, so we were at six exact hotel. Oh, were you? I like the purple. I think the purple is a, a nice choice. Yeah, and then there'd be the purple part. Right, right yeah. which is awesome, because it's yeah. not like a feminine push of it, yeah. like a bright pink. Yeah. Like, that would be kind of tough, but I think the, the purple is going to be awesome. I think to believe and to have little girls, like, be able to see what I've always wanted and what I now got, like everything is tangible and you can do it if you believe it and you work hard enough. I'm just like shaking in my boots about because I'm so excited to just be a part of it. Hi there, Tom. I'm Dean. Oh, you know, I'm Dean. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We lived close by a hockey rink at home. Hockey's not that popular yet um, in Switzerland. We went on the ice a lot, just messing around, um, pond hockey style. I fell in love with with the gear they were wearing and skating around together. So I asked my parents if I could join them. So the next day I started in my hometown club and I loved it since day one. There was no girls hockey really existing at home. I played boys until I was 18 years old. And then Northeastern University recruited me and I played there for five years, had the best time of my life so far. And now I can start my pro career. I'm just super honored and excited to be a part of it. Yep, my mom just said my dad's already in the pool swimming. So. Really? <laughs> yep, we're, we're hurrying him up because I need dinner here at some point. In downtown Toronto, Ontario, inside the CBC Broadcast Center, history will be made. The best women's hockey players in the world are in one building hoping their name gets called in the inaugural professional women's hockey league draft. My sister no, sends me this whole thing. 
teamwork, defense. I go, team. where is that from? She goes, chat GPT. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? This one's funny. This one's Calgary Worlds, but look on the inside. So nice. It's got a COVID mask on the inside. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was like the first thing that we had like after yeah. COVID. I trust you. I just met you, but I trust you. <laughs> Thanks. I have no idea where I'm gonna go. Obviously I have connections to Montreal when I was there three, four years ago. There's a lot of excitement, but also like, I'm very much somebody who likes my routine. So like not knowing where I'm gonna be. It's a very anxious day, but a very exciting day. So it's like trying to find the balance of both. My mom is actually watching from Portugal. Wherever I go is wherever I go, but I'm really excited for my parents and my family to be like, this is where my kid got drafted to. I have to remind myself like this is actually historic. Yeah. Like this is a historic day in women in women's sport, not just women's hockey. It's hot. Hi. It looks too good. Trevi got here. Hey, Trev. Hi, Lola. Hi, dear. How are you? I'm good. I'm excited. Good. Is the camera crew there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Language. Make sure you brush your teeth. Thanks, mom. Hey. Love you. Love you too. Bye, dear. Bye. There's so many players that have gone through the variety of leagues that have been around and to think like this moment, like we've never had a true draft where we can go anywhere in women's hockey and like it truly is historic. And I think it hits me when former players that have retired, they tell you and remind you like how historic this is. And that's kind of when it sinks in that like this is a moment that is life changing for the game of women's hockey. Happy draft day, everybody. Woo! To the future. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thank you for being here. I got my two outfits. I got to pick between the two. I got two colors, pink and blue. I think blue's a winner. So for me, I'm just going to be really, really excited and obviously super excited for wherever I'm going to go because I know this league's going to go to higher hopes than anyone would have even thought. I'm just super excited to be in one room with all these great athletes, these great women. My mom is here sharing the moment with the family members. Unbelievable. PWHL inaugural draft. Who knows where I'm gonna end up, but I'm so excited. This is a historic day for women's hockey, and I just can't wait to be a part of it. That's how we do it. That's a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> Safe driving. I have no idea what team I'm going to. It's gonna be just as much of a surprise to me, but I think all six cities are incredible and have their own unique cool things about them, so I'm just, Super excited and will be happy wherever I end up. I'm honestly excited to just be around teammates and friends and we're all kind of going through the same thing today. A lot of unknowns, but at the same time, a lot of excitement. I'm just really excited for wherever I'm at to continue to like preach to little girls. Like, like you can do it. If you believe it, you can do it. You just got to put the hard work in. How old are you guys? Nine. So you got a few years. Nine. There you go. It's such an exciting time, and for me, as a, a former player, these are moments that I dreamed about. You know, having a draft into a professional league, having the ability to play in a city that selects you, becoming part of a community, and being able to play at the highest level. Thank you to every woman who played this game who won't be lacing up her skates, but will be right there alongside us. To those who worked two jobs, bought her own equipment, who didn't get paid for glory or a paycheck simply for the love of this magnificent game, to the leagues that came before, and everyone who dreamed what today could look like. With the first overall pick in the inaugural Professional Women's Hockey League Draft, Minnesota selects Taylor Heise. Thank you. Now we gotta work. The first overall pick ever in the PWHL draft. And how about that, Haley? Billie Jean King makes the announcement. Everyone that I love is there, and it's the state of hockey. So I'm just really honored I'm going to be able to play and continue to show the little girls that anything's possible if you keep working hard. Boston selects Alina Mueller. So we have First year peeing off the board as well, Alina Mueller of Switzerland is going to Boston. Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> it's pretty emotional. Um, 
super happy and can't believe I can play again in, in the best best city in the world. Montreal Select, Erin Ambrose. Erin Ambrose made her Olympic debut in Beijing, came home an Olympic champion, and now here she is going to Montreal. Your dream is just beginning. Uh, look at this, look what we've done, and it's only just getting started. So dream big and uh, chase those dreams. Boston Select, Sophie Jakes. Sophie Jake, she's only 22 years old, is the Patty Kazmaier winner from Ohio State University last season, had one of the best offensive careers. No, I'm just so excited. In Boston, such a cool city, I just couldn't be happier. Who would you like to uh, give a shout out back home? Well, of course, my dad. I know they're watching right now. I can't wait to, to hug them all, give them a big hug. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Elena. Congrats. Thank you. Thanks to you. We're all going to be here. Yes. Unbelievably. He's at the place. Mega. Friends, that's just what you like, huh? Yes. Thank you for all this, Bobby. Yes, thank you. Dat is mijn klauwen. Dank je. Hi, buddy. Hi, mama. Congratulations. Thank you. Are you excited? I am very excited. Round one, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm so proud of you. Thanks, mama. I'm just, I'm so happy for you. Me too. We're just now at a tipping point. I've waited my whole life almost for these moments. Today represents so much to me personally because of what we're going to see. The hockey really represents women's sports in so many ways. It doesn't have to be just hockey. It represents what's happening, the opportunities, the investment that's going on. We're at a tipping point in women's sports. It was crazy. I don't even think it set in until I was up on stage, like staring at my parents, um, had the stick in my hand. It's just an exciting time for women's hockey, not just for myself. I think I'm more so excited for the league and how we're going to make waves in this professional league. I hope that the little girls and little boys like see that this is something that didn't just happen overnight. We have worked tirelessly for the last, honestly, 25, 30 years to have a league like this, and we're still growing. It's been a, a long journey to get here, and there was many women before me that, you know, I think broke down so many barriers and provided the opportunities that myself and my generation got to have. And we've spent time breaking down more barriers to get to this point in time. And the women of this generation have stood up for what they believed in, and today they get to have their moment that's for them, but it's also for every young girl that comes after them. And it's all been an important part of the journey to get here. And I think all of us can take a little bit of pride in this moment today. And soak it all in. Be proud of the women that will walk across the stage. But know that there's going to be so many more that come behind them.